Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fall makeup tutorial for you. As always, it's using only cruelty-free beauty products, so if you are into that, definitely subscribe. I do lots of cruelty-free beauty videos, but I also do lots of lifestyle videos and fashion as well, and I do have some exciting videos coming up, which is part of the reason why I haven't posted very much lately. We are doing a really big construction thing at the moment, and I want to have you guys be a part of it as well. So I want to share what's going on. We are a little bit closer to when I will be actually filming those videos. So stay tuned. It'll be a little while longer, but I want to do lots of like decor videos and styling videos and like things about shopping, picking out like floors and tile and all that fun stuff. So yeah, definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you're interested in those. For today's video, I just wanted to sit down and do a nice fall makeup tutorial. I love fall makeup, I love the colors, and I actually used the new Urban Decay Naked Honey eyeshadow palette in this video, and I will be giving away this one. This is a brand new one, and it will be international. If you are interested in entering the giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed, comment on this video, and then also follow me on Instagram and I will have that linked in the description box below. I'll also have all the other information about this giveaway, like how long it will last and when I will be contacting a winner and all that good stuff listed below this video as well. So if you wanna see how I got this nice, subtle fall makeup look, then just keep watching. First thing I will do is prime my face. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX Face Primer. I love this one because it is extremely moisturizing. And obviously when the weather gets a lot colder, most people's skin starts to dry out. So I feel like it's really important to hydrate your skin before doing makeup. And the same thing goes for your lips. So I'm using the Amore Vita Perfecting Lip Balm. This is so nice. I also did really love this for the summer because it has like a cooling effect, but it keeps your lips really moisturized for a long time. So I'm gonna start off by doing that before before I apply any other makeup. If you've watched my videos for a long time, you know I like to apply my concealer before foundation, so I'm using two of the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye concealers in two different colors. I like to do this because I like to use the lighter one to brighten up any places on my face that just need a little bit of brightening, and then I mix the rest of it together and I apply it to any areas that need concealing, like blemishes or helping reduce some of the redness, like around my nose, and then I just blend usually all of that out with my fingers and sometimes I'll go over like any areas around my eyes with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is super smooth but it is really easy to blend out with your fingers. And moving on to foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This one isn't completely matte. I don't typically go for a lot of foundations that are extremely matte. So I do really like this one because it has a more satin finish and then I just blend it all the way like around my face and down my neck using a beauty blender. And the shade is seriously perfect for my skin tone right now. Like it literally disappeared and it has a beautiful finish. And before I apply powder, I'm going to apply my contour kind of bronzing shade. This is a matte Matchsticks from Fenty Beauty and it's in the shade Mocha. I really like this one because it's more on the neutral side so it is really good for contouring but it still has a bit of warmth in it so it's not too dull looking and it still gives your skin like a nice healthy bronzed look so you can use it for contour and you can also use it as like a bronzing color which I'm kind of doing both of right now so I'm using it like on the top of my forehead on the sides of my nose a little bit like on my cheekbone and under my cheekbone and then under my lip to make it more pouty and then I will fill in my brows I love using the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil it just is amazing it's like the perfect size for creating like defined brows but you can also do like little brow strokes to make them look more natural so I just do them in my normal way. I don't really change how I fill in my brows very often, so you guys have probably seen this a million times. <laughs> And if you have been watching my videos, you would also know that I love to put a clear brow gel in my eyebrows. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I still love to have my brows looking groomed and put in place. So recently I've been using this one from e.l.f., but I also really love the clear one from Essence. And then I will go on to actually powdering my face since I used all the cream products that I needed to. And I'm just going to put that literally all over. Sometimes I only do it in the T-zone, but I don't know, for some reason I just felt like putting it everywhere today, which is totally fine, still love the look. 
So for the eyes, I actually used a new product from Stila. This is the Suede Shade Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Sassy. And this is such a pretty color. They have a ton of like solid matte colors, so they don't have any shimmer in them. And I think that they are so pretty for fall. So this one was really great to work as a base. You could obviously leave this just as a plain color all over your lid because it looks beautiful. But I also wanted to try out the new palette from Urban Decay. So I'm kind of using this as a like primer base color. So so this is the beautiful new eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. It's called the Honey, Naked Honey, I think. Um, so I'm going to start off by taking the shade Amber. This is a beautiful golden copper shade. It looks and basically reminds me of fall. <laughs> so I'm just applying this pretty much all over my entire lid, but not going above the crease. I just want a lot of like pigment and color payoff there. So now I'm taking the shade called Drip, and this is going to go all along like my crease and blend it out into to kind of like a cat eye winged shape. I just feel like that's the most flattering for my eye shape. So I obviously just do that on both sides. I will also be using the exact same color underneath my eyes as well so that everything just kind of blends together and it gives like a sort of smoky effect but it still has that like everyday look. I'm not using anything too dark. And these colors are seriously so perfect for fall. This whole palette is great for fall, which is why I wanted to give one away in this video. I think that you guys will really love using it if you have it or if you're planning on getting it and obviously whoever wins it. So then I'm going to use the shade Flyby. This is just going to go onto my brow bone. It has a very slight sheen to it, so it looks very fresh and pretty, but it also highlights your brow bone nicely. And for my lash line, I usually like to use an eyeshadow, like a darker eyeshadow rather than a eyeliner. I just prefer that look for myself, but obviously if you want to do like a cat eye or whatever, by all means do it. I'm using the shade Sting from the palette. And then I will apply some mascara. Oh my gosh, I just realized I don't think I filmed a close-up for this mascara, but it is the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. It is, I think, their newest addition to their like mascara line. Um, I really like it. It's really good for building volume, so I'm just putting a few coats of that on my lashes. And then I'll move on to the rest of my face, and I'm using this beautiful blush palette from Tarte. This was, I think, a limited edition palettes during one of the holiday seasons, I think, but obviously Tarte has a ton of blushes that you can use. I'm just using some more like peachy, some shimmery shades just to look really fresh and more like fall. <laughs> and then I will be using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters ever. It is drugstore and Essence is extremely affordable and it's it just looks so good on your skin. It's actually quite buttery. It doesn't look powdery at all. So I'm just applying that to some of the places that I'd like to highlight and add a little bit of extra glow and also to the Cupid's bow of my lips because I like that look. So then I'm gonna finish everything off with the Too Faced Hangover RX Makeup Setting Spray. I think you can also use it as a primer spray, but I do really love to use it after my makeup and dab with my Beauty Blender just to set down any extra powderiness that might be there. And finally for lips, I'm using a lipstick from Bite Beauty. This is called Honeycomb. This is one of my favorite everyday shades throughout the entire year, but of course it also looks good in the fall. And then I wanted to put some lip gloss over top. I've really been loving lip gloss lately. This is also from Bite Beauty. I believe this is called the shade Caramel Latte. Oh my gosh, no. I think it's vanilla latte. I will have it written in the description box below, but it is a warm tone lip gloss and I just think it finished it off perfectly. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are interested in winning the Urban Decay Naked Honey Eyeshadow Palette, then just check the description box for all the rules. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other suggestions for fall videos, leave them in the comment section below and I will check them out. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.